Dear President Metzola, who unfortunately already had to leave, dear Vice President Picciano, dear fellow colleagues, friends and guests, good evening to everybody. I'm honored to have the opportunity to say a few words to you on behalf of the jury. The Daphne Caruana Galicia Award is a constant reminder of a whole host of challenges to journalism and press freedom on our continent. From online surveillance and trawling to threats, harassment and intimidation up to physical attacks, journalists in Europe continue to risk their safety in order to perform their public service. Firstly, congratulations to all of our esteemed colleagues who are the finalists in the year 2023. Thank you for your exceptional investigation. We are so happy that some of you are here today in person. Welcome. The European Parliamentary Committee hereby wishes to recognize and praise your work without any influence over the result on its part. We are an independent jury consisting of 28 media colleagues from all European countries. Unlike other award ceremonies, we are not able to provide in-depth reasoning for our selection. This is because the voting process took place completely independently and anonymously. We have no idea who voted for which project. But, however, in the case of the Mbuna, many did. The process was as interesting and industrious as it was secretive. 268 reports were submitted this year, represented by more than 700 journalists. They were all reviewed by each jury member as part of a pre-selection round before progressing to a shortlist of 12 stories. Various topics were among those submitted. The war in Ukraine, Russian attempts to escape sanctions, violence and right-wing extremism across police forces in several countries, large criminal operations at the cost of the environment and human rights, bribery in the Arab world, violence against women, children and homosexuals, systemic racism and exclusion. Each of these stories covered criminal activities and highlighted the violation of human dignity, freedom, democracy, equality, rule of law and human rights within Europe's borders. All of these stories make for tough reading or listening. Many leave you feeling helpless. This includes your story, esteemed prize winners. And there are good reasons why the jury selected the prize winner out of 12 significant high-level journalistic works. Like many of your colleagues, the authors also covered the issue of those who board dangerous boats provided by dubious traffickers and travel across the Mediterranean to Europe in the hope of a better life. This summer, we heard reports of accidents and desperate stranded people nearly each week. Most of the people on the Adriana fishing boat in June this year did not make it. The boat sank before the eyes of the Greek Coast Guard as even Frontex watched on 600 people died. Together with other European media partners, the winners meticulously researched the precise circumstances, spoke to eyewitnesses and survivors, analyzed the data and showed that these people wouldn't have died if European authorities had acted differently. Your report reads like a crime novel. Your stories from the survivors are breathtaking. The inconsistencies you revealed in the statements by the Greek Coast Guard are scandalous. I can well imagine that working on this report wasn't particularly fun. 
conducting delicate interviews with survivors and persisting inquiries with the authorities are nerve-wracking and challenging. Despite this, you managed to highlight something that isn't working well in Europe. The European Union is not perfect. And yet, here we are, all sitting together in Strasbourg as this prize is awarded. It's a prize in memory of our investigative colleague Daphne Caruana Galicia, who in 2017 paid the price for her commitment to investigative work with her life. And so we live in a European Union that recognizes its weaknesses and with the presentation of this prize runs the risk of continually being scrutinized. Such a thing is only possible in a democratic confederation of states. And all of us who are involved in journalistic activities can be grateful that not only is our scrutinizing work possible on European ground, but that it is also worthy of such an award.